Hi, Paul Sykes, Good News Planet. Your name again is Cole Harrell. Oh, H-A-R-R-E-L-L. 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 Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Texas. From Texas, okay. But also Europe, did I hear you mention something Yeah, about my Europe? family's in England. Wow, okay. Like, uh, like from England? Kensington. Okay, Kensington in England, okay. And uh, Texas, uh, where, where, where do you live in Texas? Well, I, I went to UT, so I lived in Austin most of my time in Texas, but I did one of the best. Okay. Uh, okay, all right. And so our good friend Joy Wei uh, has a new uh, gallery here at 122 West 18th Street, is that right? That's correct. Okay, off of uh, 6th Avenue, 7th Avenue, on, uh, in the sort of Chelsea ish area here. And uh, Joy is a good friend for many years of good news. And so we're very happy to be here at our grand opening. Uh, you're the artistic director, is that right? That's right. Um, so tell us about this show, how long is it going to be here, and about your website, and tell us how people can buy some of these wonderful uh, pieces of work. Well, the show is going to be up until August 10th, and the website is brand new. It's in the works, but it's just about finished. But everything that you need to purchase the pieces, you can see it's on the website. Our email is there, home page is there. Great. <laughs> I know, right? You like that? Yeah, no, that but says it all. Tell us about the art. This is what you're about. Uh, you stay close to the camera. You stay close to the camera. You can't hear yeah, this is one of my favorite of Pepe's works. Uh, as you can see, it's the Sleeping Jesus, and I chose it as our featured piece. Uh, that's sort of the footnote of Pepe's work, is that he takes religious iconography and he sort of remodernizes it to a contemporary audience. You know, I love his technique. It starts out as a photograph, and it ends up, he paints it on tracing paper, so you can see the great texture, all the quality of the work yeah. has, it's not on wood. And that's sort of what we wanted to do with this show, is sort of give the viewer the feeling of sanctimony and sort of create a church-like setting. Yeah. You know, I sort of put the disciples here, I put Jesus in the center, around it are the non-religious works. Right. I sort of made them into the viewers of the scene. So now they're sort of in the pew. Who's this guy over here? Let's go over here. <laughs> yeah, he looks in uh, heaven, heavenly. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we sort of had a little bit of Judas, perhaps, Jesus and Judas dynamic here. Uh, I think it's a really cool piece. Yeah. It gives such a feeling of harmony, and you really sort of feel the ascension as it's happening. You know, again, it's got Pepe's staple, it's modernized, it has a cool, uh, I don't know, it's just got a great feel to it. Who's, who's making this art? Pepe Vives. Okay, so, Pepe, tell, tell me, your full name is what? Pepe Vives. Okay, Vives. Vives, where are you from? I'm from Spain. Spain, hi. Congratulations on the soccer. Yeah, yeah, that is beautiful. Beautiful. The country is for our team, and the soccer. As long as the soccer, soccer team sucks, forget about Madrid and Barcelona. Barcelona. All right. So uh, this is your own work, and uh, uh, Spain and art is very important to you. Culture of Spain. Tell me a little bit about your 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 love for art. Well, uh, basically, these paintings. Uh, I also started working like transferring, uh, basically transferring the aesthetics of the photography into a painting to make it unique, an image that is unique. Like that, and then the inspiration comes from the, from the, from the, from the tradition of the, the Spanish Baroque, the Italian Baroque, that it was my background. I'm trying to reproduce the icons, the, the classics. So that it was for me the, the inspiration to start like, working in these images. What, what kind of the technique is, I take the photograph, I put it in the computer, I blow it to the sizes, and then with the white uh, canvas, I start building up by printing a few pieces of transparent paper and putting one overlapping, like what I call painting. The same technique, only that it has a small stroke of the paper. And then I build it. This painting probably has like 200 layers, one on the top of the other. Wow! To produce like volume, or just when you put more paper or more, or less. But it layers and layers of paper, the small layers of paper, to build up, like a straw. That's magnificent! And then come. 
And then the color is... Uh, yeah, yeah, the, no, no, the color is in the paper. Because I printed the small pieces of paper, I printed the section of the paper. What kind of glue do you use? The one that you paint, what is the white glue? Polyurethane varnish? Polyurethane. Polyurethane? Yes. Because it's got to shine. you got a beautiful shine out here. You can clean it with Windex. Clean that with Windex, alright? That's a very everyday thing. That's a very everyday thing. That's a very everyday thing. That's a very no, basically materials are like industrial. The paper is placed in paper. So all the materials are like industrial materials. Uh -huh. okay. So that is how I deal. some kind of material. Industrial materials are these dry materials that you can blend. Like so do you duplicate it? Alright, so we want to sell some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about selling some of this stuff. So, I mean, this took uh, some time to make. Boom, 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 boom. So, do you sell just one piece or do you re replicate this piece? You, is this a friend of yours that you know that you... Yeah, but... Uh, how, do you do, how do you now sell? Is this piece one of one or is it one of 15? Yeah, you you cannot replicate this. This is because the idea is to make a unique piece, like a painting. Okay. I can make a copy. Like, you can make a copy of, of the Monsignor d'Avignon. You can make a copy of that. Picasso can make a copy of that painting. Yes. But it still will be different because it's another copy. It's not that... You cannot reproduce okay. because this, the process from I transfer the image is manual. It is like three weeks or four weeks to make all the layers. So it is like unique piece. Okay. So and I can make this close for how much? I don't know. Like, you know We're asking sixty-five hundred. Sixty-five hundred for this piece. Okay. All right. Air that out there. Anybody wants to buy that? Let us know. Okay. Right. It, is, it is one of a kind. Piece. One of a kind piece. What do you call it? It's, uh, I, I give numbers. I mean, this is uh, the inspiration is in, like, in the FAO, the presentation is the FAO, the main, here's the main, no? the okay. meaning of that sentence. I'm available if you want me to sit for you uh, or anything. Okay. Okay. I, I just, just want you to know. Yeah, okay. Okay. Really you know, follow up. You're like, yeah. you know, you're going yeah. to be better be in, uh, uh, I'm available. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I will mean when I get back. Do you have a website? It's, uh, what's your website? Joywaygallery.com. J-O-Y-W-A-I-Gallery.com. Beautiful. Okay, thank All you. Right. That's just great, guys.